Hi everybody. As many of you know who follow me, I have been a little bit of traveling this month. Uh, we set out early in the morning from eastern Iowa and ended up over in South Dakota. Stopped off in Orange City to see a friend and had some wonderful gelato. Uh, the guys were waiting for grub that evening after the Hawkeye win and uh, Big Skies stopped at Waldrug and had their famous maple donuts and saw lots of western wear and things uh, that were being displayed there, lots of uh, artifacts, and moved on from Wall. We stopped into a 1800s uh, area where they had a, a ghost town and some longhorn steers and that sort of thing. And I just was taking nature photographs as I do because I like to use things like that in my art. They had a train there. Um, they do a dinner train out of that area and we took a different train so I'm just giving you some photographs of things that are along Highway 90 heading to Corn Palace in Mitchell. Um, these were the low hills on the eastern, northeastern side. So at the Corn Palace, there were lots of artifacts there, lots of displays, and what they do is they change out the exterior of this arena uh, with art that is done all from pieces derived from the corn stalks and corn itself. So you can see how they have used this to decorate the exterior of the building. And um, this is the 100th anniversary of decorating this particular building. So it was uh, kind of a special time to be visiting. So I'm just showing you some of the pictures that are made from all the different pieces of corn, whether it's the silk or the stalk or the corn itself. Really cool building. We wanted to see it at night, but didn't want to stick around that long because I guess they light it up. So we stayed at Holy Smokes Resort. <laughs> I know, cute name, right? And uh, these were the little cabins that they have for rent there. These are just in the hills above Keystone. And see the lovely area that we're in. This was a bridge. They, they have these bridges that are made from the native pine there, which are just awesome. And of course, we had to go in search of the monuments. We visited Crazy Horse and um, wonderful displays there. Wish we'd had more time to spend. Uh, lots of the Native American Sioux uh, artifacts, displays. Um, I'm going to show you one of the Lakota uh, tribe who is teaching a dream weaving at that center. And this is a lake, uh, the Corps of Engineers made all the lakes in South Dakota because there are no natural lakes there. So uh, if you see a lake, just know that the Army Corps of Engineers was at work. Beautiful scenery, breathtaking views. Uh, we walked around these monuments as much as we could, but you know, we only had a short period of time, so we spent maybe an hour to two hours in each location as we moved through. First, we had to stop at the local wineries and pick up what we could. They even branded our buns uh, for supper at this shoot rooster restaurant. I guess a shoot rooster is some kind of cowboy, not chickens. This is uh, one of the water fountains. This is Bridal Vale in Spearfish. And look at that sky. 
There's one of the little groundhogs. And this is the trail that goes around the base of the Devil's Tower in Wyoming. Yep, we made it clear over to Wyoming and we hiked the trails and saw what we could in Devil's Tower, Wyoming. You can see how beautiful the weather was. The skies were blue, the clouds were puffy, the scenery was gorgeous and couldn't ask for anything better. So we had to set, head back to Keystone and there were a few things there to see. There was a guy there doing chainsaw carving every day and uh, that was kind of cool. And look at good old Smokey. Yeah, lots of forest fires out there so they're very careful about fires and that sort of thing. Now I stopped into this store in Rapid City, South Dakota. This is Shavik Studios and Gallery, and there are about 45 artisans who display their wares in this store. And I purchased a few things while I was there, but I'll put all the information in the description box below. You can see that there's a variety of different types of artwork from the local artisans, um, anything from weaving to pottery to painting. Um, I picked up a couple of mixed media pieces for myself and uh, just wanted to show you what was available locally in that area. Um, if you're looking for something to take home with you as a gift or uh, whatever you're thinking about, check this out. They are in Rapid City, and um, like I said, they do have a .com that will be listed in the description box below. So if you see something you like, you can contact them. And this is the artist that I picked up a piece from. Her name is Marie... Uh, Lena Medina and uh, she does mixed media art and I liked what I saw from what she did. They also had a few um, supplies on hand you know so if you're out and about and need some art supplies you might find something that you need in there. Cool journals uh, really like there's a, a guy that was doing these line art uh, postcards and things that I really liked. I ended up getting a pin from him. So, just was a fun quick stop while the guys were doing a little shopping for vinyl a few doors down. We had breakfast in a store which was actually a, a what do they call it, secondhand store that had a diner inside of it, just really different. So, um, Rapid City, different sort of place to check out. Let me introduce you to another artisan. I am Tracy Harrison. I am from the Black Hills of South Dakota. I am a local Oglala Lakota artist. So what I do is I make handmade dream catchers. Um, never the same, all unique and one of a kind. And not only do we use dream catchers for dream energy, we use them for all energy to filter out negativity and only allow the positive energy to come through. So we're supposed to use the dream catchers to achieve our dreams, visions, and goals of life. And it represents the sacred hoop of life and our connectedness to all things. So if you guys are ever in the area, come to see Mount Rushmore, come to see me, a local artist, go see Crazy Horse, lots of great things to do here in the Black Hills. And I can tell you, that she has lots of things in the store. So um, check her out and I will put the information in the description box below. So the train that we rode between Hill City and Keystone 
was an 1880s train. They had cars from a number of different railways and they were all of interest. And um, you can ride it one way, you can ride it round trip. And it was an enjoyable ride. Uh, there was a lot of information shared while we were taking the ride. They were not able to use coal because of all of the forest fires in the area. So what they do is use recycled engine oil uh, to fuel the train. And here the guys are getting it ready for our trip. They have to uh, clean out the engine and oil things down. This is a picture of the uh, restaurant where we had our breakfast, the sun coming through the trees as we woke up each morning, and the beauty of the Black Hills. So on our trip home, we headed through another area of the southeast part of South Dakota, and that is the Badlands, and you can see we saw much of the area as we journeyed home. It was a very enjoyable but short trip, and I hope you enjoyed the information that I've shared here. I hope you all have an opportunity to visit this area. I find it very interesting and would love to have spent more time, but even in a few short days, you can see quite a bit and experience South Dakota and Wyoming. Thanks for visiting with me. These are just a few of my souvenirs from my trips. You know, I have to have my refrigerator magnet to go with the rest of things. And this is the beautiful bouquet waiting for me from my husband. I got home. Bye, guys.